hello guys so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to export polypane data from zbrush into our node renderer so you can have your nice renders here without any um, proper texturing and without any uvs just straight polypane data so let's go to zbrush mm. I have my model don't forget that I have my patreon and if you like my artwork please support me there I would be very happy so here we have our scene in ZBrush all poly painted no UVs at all and if I had any they would be like very very broken so we can't rely on them at all so um, I have a layer of polypaint for this one and it doesn't really matter when you export if you add it on a layer or you pen painted that on exact mesh. So in order to get the polypaint data we would have to switch to subdivision 3 because this is the subdivision I'm pretty much happy with. You can see that all her makeup stays in place, it's all like mashed <laughs> because if we go um, subdivision 2 it's very um, like blurry and this is not good for our render so um, I don't have anything selected here in the option box so we just export it it doesn't matter also what version of FBX you're using and Oh, the only thing I changed is this from binary to my ASCII. I prefer that better. So I export it and it takes a few seconds, but when we go to our actual scene, let's delete everything. I had before delete and let's leave the lights so now I will have to import my FBX file and it takes a little bit of time because it's pretty high for Maya it has a lot of polygons so let it do their thinking yeah here we go and if I start the render now, you can see that there is nothing and it's some weird like material thing. So what we have to do is assign new material, Arnold has standard surface and name it whatever you want, body underscore chest, hit OK and still nothing, right? So. You need to go to the shape of the mesh, Arnold, and you untick this thing. You need to press export vertex colors. This is our polypaint data. And you go here, mesh controls, current color set. It's uh, the information of your polypaint. And now we need to go here into our hyper shape and um, AI user data color and you put it here to the color and that color set zero information you put it to attributes and now let's see what happens you can see that there's still nothing and also I forgot to let's take the stickler down and the thing is that we need to get our DOM mark correctly because uh, ZBrush has a different DOM mark. so DOM mark correct and we need to go 0.4 Five four. So everything zero 
four. Okay, and now we connect all three colors to value and then connect it this to color. And it should appear now. And what happened? What happened? Let's see, I put this thing and color set. And what do you want from me? <laughs> I want here. Sometimes you just have to uh, restart the render, or uh, if it still doesn't show anything, you can restart your Maya, but don't forget to save. Sometimes it takes a while for it to show your changes. So yeah, here you go. You have your poly paint without any UVs and you can cheat like that <laughs> for some like smaller projects. So yeah, I hope this was helpful to you guys and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you learned something new or if it was just fun looking at it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye!